very good day. I hope you're well today. And yes, here we are, a special day. It's the 29th of February, which is a leap year day today, which happens every four years. But today is a special day. And I'll tell you what, something special has been released this morning by Full Park and your past page. So, wake up this morning, a little bit, you know, not sure what today's gonna be like until something released this morning. The brand new 2024 map has been revealed this morning. So I want to take you a look because there is something exclusive today. And it is on the map and I cannot explain how exciting it is. So I'd like to say thank you to Full Power first of all for letting me do this today. I had to check with them this morning on the page to say, is it possible I can film it and give my review? And they're like, yeah, of course. So yes, thank you very much Full Park. Without further ado, I can't wait to show you what they've done. <laughs> Come on. It has to be related to something, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I can't wait. Um, I can't wait. So without further ado, let's get into it. So here you are, the new map for the 2024, which you can see on your screens now. There's so much to go through. So I'm gonna go through every bit of a map which you're gonna have a look now. So let's zoom in closely and see what they've done. So uh, let's get to the swarm to start with. So let's zoom in. And yeah, look at that. The swarm detail of that train looks very nice. Spikes in the corner of the train makes it more exciting. Detail of that. It's very nice detailed of the areas where I have a the person designed it. He's done the signature ranges, I believe of the merchandise of last year as well, so he did some good work on that. Um, tidal wave, look at that, the lightning effects, like it's a storm. That's so cool to see. And um, we've got stealth, that's nice. And that's having massive refurbish this year. I'm so excited to see how it looks in person when I go back eventually. And uh, let's have a look at Inferno design. Oh, look at that volcano theme. That's very well detailed. Imagine that, smoke effects, but they've got um, steam effects instead to make it so realistic. And it's so cool to see that Full Park have made this very detailed already. And of course, they've got lectures this year with numbers, so it has description about what they are, which I'm going to go through, or a particular one, which I want to explain the exciting bit in a minute. So um, we've got um, Wimper Rapids as well, yeah. So we all know the layout of that ride because it's very simple, very chilled ride after a busy day. Uh, X, there we are. Sorry, um, The Walking Dead, should I say? It, it actually says No Way Out. I love it. It actually says No Way Out on the map. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> oh, brilliant. I just noticed that. Oh, brilliant. Uh, it's funny how I made a mistake, and actually it says no way out at the bottom of that map. That's insane. Brilliant. And you've got Flying Fish, Events Marquee, very nice design of the Death Charge. And you've got the Shark Hotel. It's very fresh, I believe, this year, and it's going to be very exciting. Let's have a look at Colossus, though. Um, Saw as well. So um, we'll get to the best till last because I am very excited to show you what they've done to that very shortly. It's quite exclusive as well, so yeah. Right, we've got Sword of Ride. Very interesting building in Sword of Ride. Colossus looks very nice. They all painted that as well this year, so that's going to be very nice to see. It's just nice to see the detail of the walking paths of the public areas, so it just shows where people can actually go and chill and of course where Saw Live used to be the picnic area which, which was a brand new thing area from the last year because Saw Live wasn't actually a thing anymore so they had to do something with it. Samurai, it's got red and black on it, hopefully, well I think I believe the new seats are in now, I just need to put a few more in and um, yep, so um, is there anything else missing to mention? Of course. Hyperia! Let's go there. Look at that. Look at this. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the brand new edition. But the best thing to look forward to is Hyperia. And we've got it on the map of our screens now. What is it 
so special about this map right now, which is very exclusive. Well, you got the wings by the plaza, which probably will be displayed to Hyperia. You've got a shop to look forward to as well, merchandises. Come on, I'm waiting for that hoodie. Um, <laughs> but what's so exclusive? You've got a nice detailed station, glow, white effects from outside, which you can see. And you've got a station that's going to be um, gold outside the building, but inside it's going to be exciting, I think. But we can see trains. However, not only the trains, but the detail, what the trains are going to look like. And if you look closely, let's have a look closely. I don't know how good you can get, but you can see there's two. For example, there's gold, black. And I don't know if there's any right bits of it, but we've got, we've got basically gold, black train colours by looking at it in detail. I don't know if it can confirm that yet, but from the map, that is exclusive moment. And that is exciting. So that looks like the potential train colours for Hyperia. Gold, black, and a bit of white as well. So is that particularly correct though? Because this is just a map today, and it's got trains around it, for example, where it's going to look. But is that confirmation? The trains are now going to be gold, black, and a bit of white. Or is it just going to be gold and black? It's mental. It's exciting. It is what it is. We've been waiting for this for so long. Oh, my goodness me. And if I just zoom out, that's just something else today. And so excited to show you the, uh, the details now because on your screens here, you've got to be talking about Hyperion mainly because this is quite exclusive, I believe, if I'm correct. So, um, A, Hyperion, it's got 1.3 meter height restriction. Um, then you've got um, new Hyperion, celebrate your new found feelings with new Hyperion souvenir. Get me the hoodie. I need it. After all my hard work, I deserve it. And um, you also got new Cloud9 treats. And you got Burger King as well. But the shop is going to be exciting. I can't wait to purchase a hoodie. And thank the team for what they produced for that. Because I'm looking forward to seeing it in person. Um, yeah, 1.3 height restriction for your UK's tallest and fastest roller coaster. So that is exciting. So yes, yeah, a few exclusive on here, and I'm trying to show you what else to show you, really. Oh, gosh, there's a few new things in the area. So, um, new Boulevard bikes, new candy pipes, candy, something like that. But anyway, so yeah, we've got, obviously, a few new things. Oh, KFC, Megastore, Kebabs, and that is, let's jump in, your full park map 2024. I feel like that was a special fulfillment today. I think one particular thing I think is exclusive was um hold on a second was the um the trains for Hyperia displayed. I think it's gold and black, which we can see, and a bit of white. So it's based about gold, black, white. There's colour scheme for it. But put it on, I can't wait. So um the construction is still happening right now. We're still halfway up of that drop section. I think the next week it should be done. But I just want to say to Full Park, what a nice map. What a range of to look what a range of ideas to look forward to this year. I'm lost for words. It's gonna be a great year. I can't wait to get my annual pass renewed and I'm looking forward to seeing many of you at the park. But for now, subscribe to see more. And I'm lost for words. What a nice map, but my favourite particular place <coughs> to look forward to is the Golden Moment Hyperia. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm looking forward to see you all soon. Take care. See you soon.